Well, welcome to this brief presentation demonstration about why you should be going live and why live is, we say, live should replace cold calling. One of the big issues is that you can't contact people. People are on furlough or they're working from home either or the bottom line, they're not at their, they're not at their offices. So how do you get in touch with them? Well, stick around, watch the next one. I'll just run this intro. Well, welcome to this. It kind of, I say it's not impromptu, but this live stream. Now I'm recording this, but it was a click of one button or the other to record it or to transmit this live onto Facebook, uh, YouTube and LinkedIn. Now, what I'm saying is that you need to change your methodology about generating new business to increase, exponentially increase the amount of people that you can contact. We know that you can't use the telephone and email stopped working a long time ago. So, you know, att attempting to spam people every five minutes doesn't work. Marketing automation has failed. And regarding all of that, I did a, a series of videos um, that are available from the homepage and on our website that talk expressly about the problems that have occurred, what you have to do to put it right and how you, make, how you can run and structure your business for the future. And part of that overall process is this and I make um, uh, uh, don't make a big deal of it but at the end of the day cold calling has has upset more people than than generated business if and we both know this so what we're looking at doing right now what I'm looking at doing is, is to show you some of the different um, approaches and different clicks it's as simple as that that you can use that would combine that first meeting that you have with putting it on digital, putting it online. So the thing is, everybody knows, you know, when you've got a first appointment, what do you say? What do you do? How do you present it? How do you pitch it? What do you take with you? What do you show them? What do you do to try and get their engagement? And all of that now can be put online. That's the first thing. Fine, we can you can video it. But secondly, you can do all of that, but within the uh, construct of a live stream. And that's what makes it really exciting, because if you look at live streams, you can join anonymously. And that's what people want to do. They want to be able to see the see options, but see them anonymously. They don't want your salespeople or my salespeople or anybody's salespeople to go and chase them down just because they wanted to learn about something. So this is your opportunity. Finally, businesses, it doesn't matter how technical or specific or how costly. Or what, you know, what, you know, whether it's five, 10, 15, 50 grand, it doesn't matter. If you have put together information that shows people what you do and you're doing it live, they can join in because if they're spending any amount of money with you, B2B, they have a right to understand how you think before they invest their money in your business by buying your products. So let's go to the, one of the first things. You want to, you want to show someone um, something to do with a product, but rather than just post it up like this, which is simply, um, I'm looking at this, I'm not sure if this is supposed, if this is right or not, if this is um, back to front or not. I don't think it should be back to front, um, but just in case, I'll take it off. So looking at this information, um, you, you, you've got this info here and it shows what um, a website can be. But if we go back to um, the first, this screen here, I think that looks better. I definitely think that looks better. If you're going to show someone some software, you're going to show them some information. You don't just want to change them to change it up to um, for them to see your website. You want them to see something that's branded. And as you can see at the bottom there, we've got our logo. The top happens to be the information that's on our website. So that's that's the first thing. The, the point of this is to say, right. What's the best thing? What's the best option? 
if you have brochures, for example, um, if we go on to a, a slightly different, uh, a, a different view. If you go on to brochures, we can show a brochure. So this, this, this brochure here um, is our playbook. And so I can, I can be talking to, you know, there's different ways of looking. You can have it on either one side or the other, but, but bear with me. First thing you can do, obviously you can make it bigger and you can click, just simply click through your PDFs, whatever you're going to show someone. The point, the point being is that you, you want people to be able to see what you're doing. You want people to see your products and your services. You want you know, for, from this type of view to a different view using multiple cameras. I mean, even in this case where I'm filming, cats out the bag. So the point of this is everybody's in the same boat. What do you do? Now, I suspect that you have space in your office. I suspect you've got people that are working from home. I suspect you've got some space where you can move some desks and set up your own studio. I mean, I don't want to leave this. I, I had another project on, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll kill two birds with one stone. We did some 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 live stuff this uh, this morning on Facebook. Typically, I, I film in my office upstairs, but this is what you're able to do if you've got the right, you know, so just some cameras that can plug into into HDMI, some switching, and so on. Everybody's got a laptop. Mo most people have got mobile phones. I've got two cameras and an iPhone. This is what can be done. This is what can be achieved today. But the, the key thing is that you want people to get into the top of the funnel and you want to know who they are. And I say you don't need to know who they are. You can create your own information, your own live show to specific, narrow, vertical markets. Forget ABM. If you've used ABM, account based marketing, forget that. Do a live stream and you tell the CTO, the COO, the managing director, if he's going to watch it. And if he hasn't got time, it's recorded for later. Go and have a, have a look at it later. But we recorded this specifically for you. So you're tailor making your cold calling. It, I mean, it's, it's the best. It is the best thing since sliced bread. So, for example, you'll, see, you'll understand what I'm, where I'm coming from from this. Um, I'm on this side. And as you can see in the other box, this is if you're using Skype. So if I wanted to call someone into this this meeting, um, well, we'll click click. So now you've got someone that you can introduce into this meeting on Skype as well. So the point I'm making is that the technology is there, the, the software is there, it's not expensive. The means to be able to um, broadcast is, is, is staggering. So if we go to, go to another scene here, I'm doing this by myself, as you can see. Next part of this, who do you put in front of the camera? And my suggestion, you employed them already. They're called salespeople. You're happy enough for your salespeople to go out there and front your business and communicate direct to cold prospects or to people that are marginally interested. Get their speaking and presenta presentation skills increased, improved. Get them in front of the camera. That's all they have to do. And you can be doing this every single day if you wanted to, or at least every week. And your marketing team, the people that are there, get them to get the emails out to tell people this is what you're doing. Think about it. You know, you, you, if we go back to this, um, the, the, the ticker tape. So you've got, you've got your telephone number. You don't need to tell them this is who we are, phone us, phone us, phone us. People who, who are, um, who are presenting, take them back to the, the lower third. That's who they are. You don't need to, they don't need to say, oh, this is my name and do the whole intro part. It's not necessary. 
So it really is something to consider. Going live is not expensive. It doesn't take much, it just takes a bit of thought. You've already got the staff to, um, to, to present. It's just a matter of getting some equipment. It costs next to nothing. It's all tax deductible. And if you want a shortcut or fast track, we call it fast track, call us and we'll set it, all, set it all up for you and leave you to it or run it for you. It's up to you. But the point is, you can see what I've done. This is one person presenting this going live. And it, in, 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 in terms of how many people does it reach? Well, how many people have you got following you? How many people follow you on, on Facebook? How many people follow you on LinkedIn, for example? And more importantly, how many people are on your database? Because you can, your marketing people will know what to do. They're supposed to. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and it's, here it is. You tell them in advance. You keep telling them in advance. Give them a schedule of what you're going to do over the next 12 weeks. What you're going to cover, what, which businesses you're going to cover the people, you know, who are you going to interview? What case studies have you got? What different suppliers have you got? The list is endless. So that's it from me. I'm going to call this a job done and I'll speak to you on the next one. Bye for now.